All right, so I'm actually uh, making this part of the video last <laughs> and putting it at the beginning because I know what I'm going to say later on in the video because I've already recorded those two parts. So there's something that I want to say from the outset um, and kind of summarize, and then you can watch the video if you want to uh, see more details. So there's really three main things going on with the Serato uh, controller, which is the hardware that you have that uh, the the mix the decks basically, and the and the software. So there's a few distinctions that need to be said up front. So first of all, the software does not necessarily need the controller in order to work. And so in order to use the software without the DEX, you're going to, you would use on the software deck one and deck two. So for this, you're just going to load up your tracks and then you're just going to manually in the program, turn them on. You can move the next track, you know, and you're going to do it in the actual program using your mouse. Okay. If you're wanting to actually use your controller, which I think most people do, you're, there's a button, uh, two buttons on the decks called deck three and deck four. And when you click those, you are then going to activate in the software the two, the three and four decks. So you're no longer going to be using your mouse, so the, you, you can maybe use your mouse too, but you're going to be mainly using the soft, uh, the, the hardware, the controller. And so then you need to reload your song, the songs you want, and then you need to move the volume up and down a few times on the, the channel volumes for, for it to register that you, that the, the hardware is working and all just from my experience sometimes you need to do that maybe after the song is already playing but then you can start using the controller i just pressed play and it is playing now so uh then i'm moving the volume up and after a few times it's going to start registering now there's three different distinctive audio outlets on this thing that i know about and I'm not an expert, but I'm somebody who basically has figured out how to do the basics after, for a while, not being able to figure it out. So there's three different distinctive things. First, you have the USB cable. That is basically taking the information of what you're doing with the controller to the software. So when you plug that in, that in and of itself, from my experience, I'm sure there's somebody who can figure this out, but that alone is not going to then play the sound out of your speakers. So you're not going to be able to just plug in your controller and then play the sound um, through your computer, from my experience, out of your computer. So that's just giving the information into the computer. There's two, there's a red and a white cable that you can plug in on the back, I guess they're called RCA, and then connect that to your own audio speakers. I use a, bear, a little Behringer mixer, and then I have speakers attached to it. That then is going to allow you to live play the music um, out of your speakers, okay? And you know these are the speakers that are normally connected to, the, to my computer. And I may be saying some of this wrong, the details like, Maybe it does play out of your computer speakers, but you can't play it directly from that USB cable out of your, com your speakers connected to your computer. I don't know the distinction, but if you're having a problem, I sure, I'm sure that this will clarify whatever it is that you're needing. Um, it'll make more sense if you're having the issue, I mean. So the USB cable is just to take the information into the computer, to the software. Those two, the red and the white cable, are to then connect to speakers that you can then treat it just like a normal uh, piece of audio equipment playing directly out of some speakers. 
and it'll play the master channel. That's the, and then the, uh, you have your headphones, which you can plug in in the headphone jack. And that you can use, and I'm going to show you the controller in a second, the various headphone tools or, or buttons to, and turn them, like how much Q you're getting versus how much master and the minimum and maximum volume, and then also the master level and the headphones. You can do that, and you can control that. And you can just use the headphones and mix that way if you know how to do that. There are ways you can do that. The, and so finally, though, for recording, and I'm going to show you this in the future uh, segment that I've already filmed, you can, you're not going to necessarily hear the master on your computer but you can hear it in either your headphones or on that external speakers that you're plugging into as well. And you can just trust, and I would test it first by recording a short sample. Don't record a whole set without just taking my word for it. But you can trust that as long as the master channel up in the corner, is, you see uh, stuff moving, okay, and I have it moving now, you know that that is going to actually register when you press that record button, okay? So when I say, I say in a later part of the video that your headphones, like, you can only listen through your headphones, what I mean is you can only listen through your headphones if you don't use those RCA cables to a, a non-computer speaker system, is what I'm trying to say, okay? So hopefully that helps, and now watch the rest of the video, and... Um, and hopefully by the end of it all, you'll have figured it out. Uh, one, oh, one last piece of advice, though. If all else fails, just, uh, and you're not hearing anything or this thing's not connecting, you also may need to plug the USB cable into the uh, controller and the computer and restart the computer with it already plugged in. I have found that a lot of times, if it's not plugged in when I start my computer, it can't ever figure out that it was plugged in. That's another thing to try, right? So hopefully you find the rest of the video uh, useful as well. Okay, so we have here our controller and we have Serato on. So why is the sound, why are you not able to hear it? Well, here is a few ideas. First of all, make sure that the USB is plugged in. Also, when you start, uh, playing a track for the first time you might need to uh, put the volume up and down a few times maybe go all the way up and down um, and it then registers with the program that it's on also you're going to have to turn on deck three which is that button there as well as deck four on the other side you're going to need to use your headphones uh, as well for cueing and that's going to be the only way that you're actually going to be able to listen to the track. And I went in and I uh, made this video and recording over it. So I was showing that you can also control the headphone uh, cue level versus the master level and use those cueing effects there. Those are ways that you can listen. The headphones, though, isn't going to be uh, necessarily what the master is playing. The master is going to be uh, just the master portion um, that's playing on the headphones, not the cue portion. Uh, and then I also showed there that I like to take vinyl off unless you're scratching because if you are trying to jog the track forward or backwards on vinyl, it's going to um, scratch rather than smoothly uh, 